Okay guys, this is tutorial three. Using simple editing techniques, identifying and correcting simple errors. Okay, you'll be given a USB key once again. So what you need to do is you need to plug it in as instructed. It may be in the front, back or the side of the PC slash laptop, depending on what you need or you're using, sorry. So basically, once again, go into my computer. So we do that by clicking start, my computer wait for the window to appear and then you'll see all the drivers in my computer so you can see all the devices that you're going to be using so my USB is situated on transcend which is on drive F so I'm going to double click that open it up I'm going to go into job stuff which we have done previously before then I'm going to go into covering letter and I'm going to open up this word doc called cover letter 2012 as we can see cover letter 2012 cover letter 2012 and it's a Microsoft Word document So once that opens, it's going to wait for it to load up. So it's open up now. So as we can see, we've got a cover letter, which potentially we will be sending to prospective uh, employers to see if we can get a job. So we're going to we're going to check it through and see uh, what mistakes we can we can um, identify and how we can fix them. And as you can see, it's got a load of mistakes as they highlighted by these red lines and gra grammatical errors which are highlighted by these green lines. And you can see it just naturally doesn't look that great. So we're going to go line by line, line by line, and check out the mistakes and the identified mistakes and see how we can fix them. Okay, so off we go. Looking at the first line, we've got February 2012. So if we look at that, February needs to be a capital letter, so all we're going to do is just going to highlight by click by right clicking and selecting February. Then we're going to look at this 2012. As you can see, it's 2012. It should be 2012. So it's been the zero has been replaced by an O. So we're going to delete that and we're going to put in a zero. So that's corrected. As you can see, that looks a lot better now. And if you go to the second line, we've got Stuart Farnham. So as you can see, this the Stuart, the name Stuart has got a, a small s to begin with. And as it's, as it's a naming word or name a name in a place or a person, it needs to be a capital letter. So we're just going to right click again, click Stuart. Moving down, so we've got 85 America Road. Again, America needs to be uh, a capital because it's a name of a place. So we're just going to right click and then scrolled over to America click that one and we go down to London again this needs to, to be a capital because it's the name of a place I'm just going to right click on London and scroll over London again guys as you can see on this on this line here where it's got E87JY this is the postcode of the address so this needs to be all in capital letters so what we're going to do is we're going to right click it Highlight it first, sorry. Right click it. We're going to go over to font, scroll down to font. Once we've clicked font, we should, a wind, another window should pop up in due course. So that's popped up. So if we just move this to the side, and we can see it there, still there, highlighted. So we want to change this to all, all to capital letters, opposed to doing it all again and doing it by hand. All we've got to do is highlight it as we have done click all caps and as you can see in the preview it's all changed to capital letters and click OK and it's all done within a matter of seconds okay we're going down to here where it's got dear Stuart Stuart again is a name so we need to right click and change that to Stuart okay if we look at this line now where the red line is we've got vacancy which is spelt wrong as you can see it's spelt with one C there and it's got two C's here so all we need to do is just right click here and just click vacancy or we can just we can just put our cursor in there and we could have just deleted it okay if we look at this line I'm writing to apply for the position of sales assistant at your company look here again this, this is spelt wrong so I'm just going to right click and then click right the right spelling okay advertised on the second line is spelt with this paragraph is spelt wrong so I was going to right click that as well and change that to advertised and again, the same issue that we had up here previously with the 18th of February 2012 is the same thing here. 
so what we need to do is we need to change that to a capital F by right clicking and then we need to delete this um, O and change it to a zero okay if we come down to the second paragraph as you can see everything is aligned to the right and we don't read from right to left in this country we read from left to right so what we need to do as you can see is you need to highlight the whole paragraph and then as you highlight it, you can see it's been aligned right so what we need to do is we need to come to this section of the uh, the window and we need to just click align text left so if we just click that everything pops back to the left see that okay brilliant so if we move down to the third paragraph we've got I have on this line I have enclosed my CV to support my application so if we look at support support is spelt wrong it's spelt with two P so we need to right click that change that to support and my as well it's not spelt with a uh, capital it's spelt with this lowercase m so we just change that to my lowercase brilliant so as we can come down here to these bullet points as you can see there's the mix between numbers and bullet points which is not great it doesn't look very professional so what we need to do is we need to change all of these to one of the other so we can change it all to numbers or we can change it all to bullet points I, I prefer bullet points if we just highlight all the bullet points like so and just click this little icon here as you can see my cursor is over it will change all of the uh, the sentences to bullet points as you can see there's still a few numbers in these two sentences so what we need to do is just put our cursor before time and delete that number I'm just going to go down put my cursor there and delete that as well and as you can see it's all looking a lot more professional if we look scroll from the top down to where we've just adjusted it looks a lot better now so if we look at this one as well it's got a, a, a green underline underneath this motivation if we click it it says that it needs to be a capital M but it's not it doesn't need to be because this is all part of this uh, of this sentence right here so all of this all these bullet points is part of this sentence so what we need to do is we need to get rid of this this full stop so we're just going to put our cursor there and we're just going to delete that and then it solves the problem so as you can see there's no green line under there it looks all uniform it looks all, um, really professional so okay moving down to the uh, fourth paragraph so there are no mistakes on this top line as you can see guys sorry there's no mistakes in this top line so we're going to move on to the second line and as we can see this uh, word here impressed is spelt with three S's so we need to just right click change that and as we can see moving on we can see that I there and I there and I there is all lowercase and it should be a capital because when we're referring to ourselves with the letter I it should all be capital letters so we just need to right click change to Y right click on the I sorry change to capital I right click and change to I brilliant that looks great so if we go look now on the last line we've got the uh, success but it's spelt with three S's so we need to get rid of one so all we need to do is right click again change to success okay brilliant almost there almost finished so if I if we go we go down to the final paragraph so it looks all great looks perfect I would the first line no problems there go to the second line you see it's got the word requirements which is spelt with a double N so that's wrong so all we need to do is just right click that and change that to requirements excellent and then we go to the final line and as you can see guys this this uh, line is has been centered so if we highlight the whole line uh, you can see that it's been centered so what we need to do is we need to send it to the left so we just click that button there and that sorts that out but then if you look at this line itself there's a green line underneath the, the first sentence thank you for considering my my application okay so if we look at in closer detail there's two occurrences of my right next to each other that don't need to be there 
so we need to get rid of one so just put a cursor before the end of one of the, the mods and just delete and that solves that problem so if we look from the top to the bottom now looking at the whole covering letter that looks a hundred times better than what it was it looks a lot more professional a lot more readable and if we were to send this to uh, an employer asking for a job I'm sure they wouldn't hesitate to to give us maybe an interview or give us the job that's tutorial free over identifying mistakes in a document well done guys see you next time